The use of imaging plays a critical role in the detection, diagnosis, and staging of lung cancer. We spoke to Dr. Navid Zanuz at Desert Comprehensive Cancer Center at Desert Regional Medical Center. Dr. Zanuz talks about CT scan versus x-rays. A low-dose CT scan is able to detect much more malignant nodules compared to a chest x-ray. In fact, there was a large trial nationwide. One group was receiving annual chest x-rays for three years, the other group low-dose CT scan for three years. And the results of that trial showed that the group that received CT scan had 20% less death rate compared to the group that receives chest x-ray. Who would be a candidate for lung cancer screening? Smoking is responsible for at least 90% of the lung cancer cases. Two groups of individuals are considered high risk for lung cancer. The first group is people who are between ages of 55 and 74 and have had 30, at least 30 pack years of smoking or ex-smokers who have quit in the last 15 years. And the second group are individuals who are at least 50 years old with more than 20 pack year smoking and one additional risk factor. By additional risk factor, I mean either occupational exposure, radon exposure, having another malignancy in the past for which they were treated like lymphoma or head and neck cancer that they received radiation therapy for, and having positive family history of lung cancer or history of prior underlying diseases in the lung, such as pulmonary fibrosis or COPD. We asked Dr. Zanuz to explain the CT scan procedure. The procedure is non-invasive, completely non-invasive. So patients go check in, they wait for a few minutes, then the technologist will put them on the table and the scan takes a couple minutes at most. A thoracic oncologist, a thoracic surgeon, a pulmonologist, and a radiologist will sit together and discuss the findings. And based on the appearance and size of the nodules, if there is any nodule, based on that, they decide whether the patient needs to have a follow-up CT scan, at what interval, or have a procedure like biopsy. If there is no nodule detected, we repeat the CT scan every year for at least three years. When we do a CT scan of the chest, in addition to the lung fields, we see the heart. There were cases that like, the patient had coronary calcifications, which are not visible on chest x-ray, but they are detectable on CT scan. And based on those, the patient was referred to a cardiologist and got treated for that. So CT scan lowered all-cause mortality rate by 7% compared to chest x-ray.